Okay, today we're going to be replacing a air handler that's located in a knee wall on the second level of a house in University City. We're going to need some floor coverings um, to get started. We've got some stairs to drop down. Gets us down to the first level. You can either come in through the kitchen or through the front door. I'll show you that when I look at the AC outside. So right now um, there's an access through a closet and this is 17 wide, 39 high, bit of a um, hack job on cutting it out. Um, if we need to make it wider, we'll make it wider to fit, um, make it easier to get the old equipment out, new equipment in. The width on the existing is 16 inches. Um, that's probably why this is 17 at the moment. There's no lighting in here, so we'll need to get lighting. You can see the line set. It's making its way out to the back of the house. If you're looking at the house on the street, so you can see there's a pump. So we'll update the condensation pump, reuse the line set, uh, safety pan. Everything's kind of shoved in. Like I said, knee wall situation. So when you come in, it's about 50 inches and then it's like sloping down. Probably wouldn't help to improve on the walkboard situation. It's yeah, basically one walkboard at the moment. Yeah, so this is doing cooling only. So basically get the air handler out. Um, I'm looking at the supply side. Uh, there are five uh, vents coming off it, you can see. And then on the back side, um, you can see the return coming in. Um, the filter you actually change in the hallway. So there's just like a transition box um, that connects to the air handler. So basically taking everything out, putting it back together, lighting, and um, yeah, access is not awesome. But um, it is, yeah, I mean, it, it can be done. Just gonna back out. That's it.